Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to NOS tutorial. In this video, we will be seeing how to create pages in Jekyll which will appear here and how to install new themes in Jekyll. The current theme that we are using is Minima. We are going to change that in this video. Before moving forward, I, will, I would like to make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. You know the drill. Please leave a like, comment, share and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates. Let's move forward. In the last video, we created this website using Jekyll. This is the title, this is the page section and these are the blog posts of that website. For creating such pages, this is the about page. For creating such up pages, we will need to include a markdown file in the root directory of our website. Now I will show you, this is that about page. Now this is the front matter and the front matter for front matter, the attribute layout is page. When we created a blog, the layout was post but for front matter so, uh, for uh, pages it is page the title of this page is about and there's a permalink given here this is concerned with the url now for creating a new page we'll go into the root directory which is this this is our root directory we'll create a new file here i would like you to note the difference when we create blog when we create it in this directory this is the underscore post directory but when you create a page you'll need to create this here in the root directory we will go to our text editor we'll create a new page we'll include some front matter we'll just copy it'll save us a lot of time and we don't need this now we'll name this page as a let's say i want to create a contact page for my website so i'll name it as a contact page I'll, I'll include some content contact contact us on this is the number we'll save this and we'll save this in the root directory we'll name it as a contact dot markdown we'll save it and uh, hopefully we'll see some changes refresh the page as you can see a contact has appeared here we'll click on the contact this is the title that we had given to our page and this is the content we can change this title easily let's say we want to name it as contact us we'll save this we'll refresh it again here it is contact us has appeared here now you can create more such pages according to the need of your website you'll just need to include markdown file in your root directory now we'll see about themes in Jekyll. The current theme that we are using is Minima. We'll go to our text editor. This is the gem file. In this gem file, we have included this gem Minima in here. And in the config.yml file, we have given Minima as a value to this attribute theme. We can change this. We'll need to go to this site, Ruby, rubygems.org. In the search box, we are going to type Jekyll theme. After clicking enter, we'll get many results for Jekyll themes. As you can see, this is the theme that we are currently using. And you can take any theme from here, but it should align with the layout that you're using. You're, you have a layout of a title, of a post and pages. Then you'll need to take a theme from here, which is aligned with that layout. We'll use this theme for now, Jekyll Swiss. When you open this theme, you can see how this theme looks like by visiting the home page. When you visit the home page, this is how this theme looks like. We are going to include this gem. This gem, we are include this gem in our gem file. We'll just type Jekyll Swiss, gem Jekyll Swiss. This is our gem file. This is our gem file. We'll type gem Jekyll Jekyll Swiss. That's it. We'll save it. We'll now, when we have made changes in this gem file, we'll need to go to our command prompt. We'll need to close our server and we'll need to install all the gems that which are in this gem file. We currently have these gems in this gem file, so we'll currently install that those gems using a command bundle install it's going to take some time it's 
as you can see themes have got some themes here we have installed some themes and after this you are going to need to visit to your config.yml file and you can change this attribute here you will change it to jekyll swiss you will need to save this and as i have already mentioned after making changes in this file you are going to need to start the server again so this time we are going to type bundle exec jekyll serve this will start the server it's going to take some time again and after, here we are the server is started and on the local host we'll need to we'll need to refresh this here it is as you can see this is the title of our website this is these are the blogs and this is the page section of our website so we have successfully changed the theme in our website while changing the theme of your website the most important thing to remember is that the layout of your theme must align with the website that this is the jekyll dot swiss jekyll swiss theme that we used now the layout of this theme can be found by using this link and you can see that they had a page section here and a title section and some posts and our theme our website the, uh, our website layout was similar to this and that is the reason that we use this, this jekyll swiss theme if you include some other theme which does not have those layout those content then you will get warnings in your command prompt and the changing themes in your website will be unsuccessful thank you for watching